Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and I'm back. If you're watching replay, um, thank you for coming on and watching my video. We're gonna make something fun with some fabric tonight. I've been gone for a little while and I'm back tonight. So say hey once you hop on and um, we're gonna get started in just a second. So got everything here, I got something fun planned. So I'm seeing if I can see comments. I hope I can. I haven't been live in a while, so I'm hoping I can still see comments. So say hey once you get on. It's just a delay. I see where people are watching, but I hadn't seen comments yet, so I'm hoping I see comments. Because like I said, I haven't been live in a while. Thank y'all for the hearts. Why can't I see comments? So somebody comment so I can, there's one. Hey, Stephanie. Yay, comments. Okay. Thank y'all, BJ. Hey, Debbie. I'm glad y'all are all here. I have missed y'all so, so very much. Um, but um, I'm not going to talk too much about all of that, as you can understand. Um, hey, Pam. Hey, Belinda. Um, so if you're watching on replay, um, I had my, my best friend passed away from cancer about a couple of weeks ago, a week ago, a couple of weeks ago, anyway, and so I've been gone for a little while, so I haven't seen all my friends in a while. I know I miss all of y'all too. I miss y'all so very much. Um, I wanted to come on and I just couldn't, and even tonight I got anxious, um, before I came on, but, um, I appreciate all of your prayers, all of the kind words, the cards, the happy mail, everything that y'all have done, I, it blows me away that people I've never met um, are so kind and understanding um, because I needed that time. Um, I'm going to try not to tear up and cry, but um, I know she's watching. I know she would want me to go forward, and so I'm here. Uh, hey, Lindy. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Nicole. Um, so I am here tonight and we're going to do a craft and it's going to be fun. Okay. Cause that's what she would want me to do. She was my biggest motivator in the very beginning of all this. She goes, you can do this. If anybody can do it, you can do this. And so, um, I'm so thankful that y'all gave me some grace and understand, um, that I just needed some time. Um, I'm still trying to process everything and every day is a different day and I try to, um, uh, just move and, and moving forward. Um, I know she's with me. So, um, but thank you for everything that y'all have done. The worst, the comments, everything that y'all have done for me. I can't thank you enough. And I'm sorry. Um, I knew I was going to do this and I was trying really hard not to, but, um, anyway, but she would want me to be happy and go on and keep doing what I'm doing. Um, so thank all of you for all the prayers, um, for her, for me, for her family, um, just everything that y'all have done. It just blows me away that, you know, y'all never met me in person and don't know me, don't know her. And y'all have just poured your heart and soul out for the whole, for the, uh, the whole ride. You know, it's only been since January 1st that she found out and then now we're here. So, um, thank you for everything you've done and we're going to have fun tonight. We're going to do a fun craft. Um, I've kind of changed my mind today about three times. <laughs> so we're actually doing two things tonight because I couldn't pick between these two things and they kind of go together. Um, thank y'all so very much for all the sweet comments. So I'm going <laughs> to, we're going to be happy and not cry. Um, I thought I was going to be okay. And the closer the time got to now, I was like, Oh, can I do this? Yes, I can do this. Okay. Thank y'all very much. I'm not one to get on here and try to cry or anything, but, and I'm not. She wouldn't want me to, I promise. Because right now she's wanting to tell me how pretty heaven is. And I just know it. I just know she is. Um, but anyway, <laughs> okay. So we, since everybody is doing, um, everybody is doing fabric flowers, okay? So you know me, I, I'm going to try to use something that you already have. Uh, one craft I had picked out that I had picked out before all that happened 
uh, with something that you might not be able to get at Dollar Tree. And so I changed kind of midstream this afternoon. And uh, thank you, Wendy and Claire. Thank you all very much. Um, and so we're going to do something with fabric tonight because I see all those flowers. It makes me so happy. And they are beautiful. Um, hey, Carol, thank you so much. Um, so anyway, so we're going to do something with fabric. Since everybody's been buying the fabric for the flowers, we're just kind of go on that path and do something really, really fun, okay? And so, so easy, I promise you can do this. Um, so I'm going to show you what we're going to make. Look at the little strawberries. I'm going to show you all how to make little fabric strawberries. Look, look at the little ones. That's what we're going to make. They're easy, y'all. I promise. They're so stinking easy. And since summer's coming and everybody's kind of on this strawberry thing, that's what we're going to make. Okay, so let me get my fabric. Um, I do have the red and white polka dot. And you can do this any color you want to. I wish I had the white with the red polka dots, to be honest. But I don't have that fabric. I did these with the pink gingham. I thought they were so sweet. So we're going to do red and white gingham, okay? Um, oh, thank y'all very much. Y'all are so sweet. Hey, Kelly. Hey, thank you, Kathy. Okay, so fabric, any color you want. I know y'all got some because y'all are making all those fantastic flowers. And I've seen a bunch of red because y'all are doing patriotic flowers, which I've yet to do. Okay, so this is one of my little plates that I use for my paint at the Dollar Tree. It's just those little dessert plates, the little paper ones. And I think it's seven inches across because I measured it today. Yes, it is. So when you're wanting to know how big to make it, they're seven inches across, okay? So of course, the bigger the circle, the bigger your strawberry is gonna be. So this one was made with the seven inch circle and you get two out of each circle. These little ones, y'all are gonna laugh, but I just use whatever I can find to make a circle with. These little ones were made with this, a bucket from Dollar Tree or something I had over here and had something in it. And so I just used it for the circle. I don't know how big it is, but they make little ones. So you can kind of experiment and make big ones, little ones, all kinds of, all kinds of sizes. Um, but I'm going to make, we're going to make something else too. That's a lot of fun. And uh, I made one today. I'm not going to show you what it is just yet. Um, and I was in here squealing all by myself because it's so stinging cute. So y'all just got to hang on. So I just kind of wanted to keep it with the fabric uh, thing going on. So I just took my plate, find something circle, find a, a salad plate or whatever. And then I just laid it down and I traced it out with a pen and my fabric scissors are somewhere else because I had them somewhere else today. And uh, I'm just going to cut out my circle. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Hey, Loretta. But anyway, I have missed y'all so very much, and I keep telling myself, I'm like, they're, they'll be there. They're gonna come. They're gonna be there when you come back, and I know they will. Um, but I did miss y'all very much. What happened to my line? I didn't can't see my line real well that I drew. There it is. All right. So it, it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Because mine's probably not exactly round. <laughs> Um, so it's not like the flowers. It doesn't matter in the end, you know, how perfect your circle is. So I'm going to put that to the side. Okay. So you're going to take your circle. We're going to make a taco like we do with the flowers. And then we're going to cut this circle in half. So I cheat. Um, I'm just going to put my scissors in my little fold. And I'm going to just cut down the fold. Like I said, it doesn't matter how intricate you cut because in the end it's not gonna all matter okay so now we have this okay so i hope y'all can see down here if you can't see just swipe and the comments will go away oh okay so you're gonna take your flat edge and you're gonna take the corner like this and you're gonna fold it in like that okay y'all watch me do it one more time take the flat edge and take this corner and you're gonna fold it down Okay, and then you're going to do the other one the same exact way. So you're going to make like a piece of pizza or a party hat, but a different kind of party hat from the flower party hat. Okay, so 
So that's how we're gonna form our little cone for our strawberry. So you want those two pieces to overlap. Oh, y'all are so sweet. Um, okay. So I'm gonna fold one of them back for right now because we're not gonna sew this part. We're gonna hot glue and just be, just be, um, hey, Agnes. I'm, I'm good, Agnes, thank you. That's Agnes, and she has uh, just a per just this, just that perfect piece. And Carol was on a minute ago, and she has Be Inspired Market. Those are all my crafty friends. Support me since I haven't been on in a while. But I'm going to run some hot glue right down the very edge of that the edge that I folded in. And I'm going to take the other side and real carefully put those together. And we're going to make a... Uh, we're going to sew it, so to speak. Okay, so now we have this fun little cone. So there's my seam right there. I know you can't see it because it's all blended together. But it's just glued together. Um, and they come, I mean, they, they're real easy to put together, okay? So now I'm going to take thread, needle and thread, and I double it up to where I have this loop at the end. Okay, double it up just so it won't break. Because I know some of y'all with the flowers said this, the thread was breaking and that kind of stuff. Because we're going to have to, um, um, yes, Kathy, it is so much easier. Okay, I'm going to leave that little hole there. And that's going to come in handy in, the min in a minute. So I doubled up the thread and thread both of the ends through my needle. So the same thing with the flowers. I don't know why I'm starting that way. I'm going to just do a very loose running stitch all the way around the top. And it can be really loose. Just, you know, don't make the stitches too far, I mean, too close together. Um, and just run around the top. Like, I'm going about, if y'all can see my needle, I'm going about that far from the top. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter, I promise. Um, and you're just going to do a loose running stitch. Easy. I like put all my thread on, the, all my fabric on the needle and gather it all up like that. And then I pull it through like that okay so we're just making a stitch all the way around and we're gonna so we can gather up the top these are so easy y'all and they're so fun um after y'all love the flowers so much i was like oh we got to do something else because i know everybody has fabric okay so there's our end with the loop where we started and i'm back to the seam again okay so i'm just gonna pull my needle through well all the way through because it came out of the needle all right, okay, so see, I've got this little stitch. Let's see if y'all can see the thread. I should have used a dark color thread. See the stitch? It's real loose, okay? Real, real loose. So I'm gonna leave that here, but I gotta show y'all this something funny. My polyfill, I had to go to Walmart because I used on my rest of my polyfill today. Look at my bag of polyfill. It's like, it's like, <laughs> I got tickled when I saw it because I thought something was wrong with it. It's like vacuum sealed. They vacuum sealed it down. And I didn't want to open it until y'all saw it because it's like really thin and sucked down to itself. So I'm just going to open up this thing and see what happens. Is it going to be like one of those memory foam mattresses that come in that box and you cut it open and it poofs out? I don't know, but I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of scared. But I'm going to have to cut down here. Um, I'm going to cut down here at the bottom where there's nothing and see what happens. Y'all ready? Y'all going to get to see it too because it's like, oh, here it goes. <laughs> Do y'all see that? Now it's like big, big <laughs> Y'all saw it here. I don't know. I've never seen polyfill come vacuum sealed. It always looks like this in the store to me. Gloria, it's just regular sewing thread. Just regular thread. And I doubled it. That was hilarious, was it not? It just... Whoosh. <laughs> That's y'all's Friday night entertainment is the polyfill bag vacuum sealed. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to take... I'm going to thread my needle first. <laughs> I guess, Teresa, they have like more... I don't know if it's... But some of them were puffed up. So, I don't know if it's because... Um, maybe they had a hole poked in the bag 
So I got the vacuum packed one because I couldn't wait to open it up so y'all could see it live and it puff up like that. And you should have heard it. I don't know if y'all could hear it, but it was like, whoosh. <laughs> oh Lord, that was so funny. And it made a whoosh sound. It really did, y'all. I'm not going to be able to thread my needle back. Yeah, I guess so, Elizabeth. They put it, can get more in a pack, you know, but I'm sure they get holes in them. But I swear, I've never seen it vacuum sealed. It's always a big puff bag. Okay. It reminds you of the gnome beard. <laughs> You're so cracking, up, cracking me up. Okay. So I'm going to get a big wad of polyfill and I'm going to stuff my little strawberry and get it all the way down into the bottom. So I know some of y'all are probably doing strawberry tiered trays or just decorating for strawberries. I love strawberries. Oh, I made a, trof a trof uh, trifle the other day with some fresh strawberries that layered with cake and Cool Whip. Oh, it's so good. All right, so I'm stuffing it a pretty good bit because those others, I, I was rationing out what I had left. And I'm hoping my thread don't come out the... That's what I'm think. I'm scared is gonna happen. Where's the end? I've lost the end of my thread. Okay. Where are you? End of thread. I'm scared it's gonna come out of the hole. Hold on. There it is. Bear with me. Technical difficulties. Okay. And my needle came unthreaded again. <laughs> that was funny, wasn't it, Terry? I hope y'all got a laugh out of that, because I did. I couldn't wait to open it. Oh, it sounds so good. Share the recipe. Okay, it is... If you go to the freezer section... I'll tell y'all about that while I'm trying desperately to thread this needle. I should have got my needle threader. Um, if you'll go to the freezer section and get the... their Sara Lee pound cake, and it's frozen, Okay. Is frozen and I got two of them they're in like a full thing um, I chopped my strawberries up the night before and I put sugar on them and of course let them sit in the fridge and make their own juice so you get cool whip two things of cool whip um, that loaf thing of those pound cakes they're like in the bread where the cool whip and stuff is and they're frozen you let them thaw out and then you crumble up some of that cake you put it in the bottom, and then you layer a layer of strawberries, and then you put Cool Whip. And then you just repeat that all the way to the top of the bowl or the trifle bowl or whatever you're using. And let it sit for a while. And y'all, that's so good. I done lost. There it is. Okay. It is so, so good. And the longer it sits, the better it is. Because that juice and that strawberry soaks in that cake. Oh, it's so good. And you could do it with angel food cake, I'm sure. And it would be fine. Um... Oh, uh, thank you, Carolyn. I've missed all of y'all, too. Okay, so now I've got my little strawberry, and I'm trying to stuff the stuffing. So I slipped my needle through the little loop that we started with at the beginning, and now I'm just going to start kind of gathering it together and stuffing all my stuffing in there, my polyfill, till it looks like this. So now we have a strawberry. So at this point, I'm going to kind of hold it together, but then I'm going to run my needle through all, you know, through the top fabric a few times. And what I like to do is I run my needle through and I loop it back through this loop. So it kind of makes a little slip knot almost like that. And I kind of go from side to side and do it a couple of times to hold it together. Ooh, cheesecake pudding mix. Well, I started keto on Monday, so um, I can't have anything good like that anymore. <laughs> I'm just eating no carbs. Well, very low carbs. Okay. So, like 20 carbs a day. So, I started Monday, and I'm drinking a gallon of water a day. Yeah, that's hard, too. Okay. So, I, I just did that a couple of times, and now the top looks like this. It's all gathered together. It's all stuffed. Okay. So, then I... Gonna cut my thread off and put that to the side. And there we have a strawberry. How cute is that? 
So this would look so cute in your little dough bowls and stuff. Okay, so now we gotta make the top part. So this part, the little leaves and all that good stuff. Um, so what I, this is roughly how I do it. My little scrap fell, I don't throw stuff away. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut out a rough circle. No measuring, I'm just gonna basically cut out a circle so we can make the little crown part. So here's my rough raggedy circle, okay? So I'm gonna fold it in half like this, like a taco. <laughs> Y'all gonna get tired of me saying fold it like a taco, fold it like a party hat, okay, like this. So then I'm just gonna go in here and make little ziggy zaggy cuts to make the little pointy things for the leaves, so like that. No rhyme or reason, I'm just cutting because I don't want it to look perfect. I just want it to look like it would be naturally just growing on top of the strawberry. But just can't you imagine a whole bowl full of these with all these different pattern fabrics and just so, so cute. Okay. This might look weird, but we can fix it when I open it back up. Okay. All right, so I cut all, cut all those little things out so I have this, this little piece. So now we open it up and it looks like this. And if you don't like some of them, like there's a square one down at the bottom, I'm just gonna go in here and cut some and fix it. And you can trim on it and fix it. This is just felt, by the way. I don't know if I said that or not. Okay, so now I have this little, looks like a little hedgehog or something. Okay, so I'm gonna take my glue gun and I'm gonna put a little dot on my, my berry and then we're gonna put it right there like this. And there's the little crown. But now I'm gonna go around and just put some dots here and there just to glue all the little leaves down like this. Y'all just think this is cute. Wait till you see what I'm just, I'm about to do in just a minute. The next thing we're gonna do. Oh my goodness. It doesn't take a whole lot to, to make me happy, I promise. Okay, so I glued them all down because they wanna just, sit, they wanna sit like this so you kinda gotta glue them down around the strawberry. And you can make them as long as you want to, whatever. But look how stinking cute this is. So then I just take my other little scrap pieces and I'm just gonna kinda cut out a leaf shape, just kinda make some, you know, cut a parenthesis and then cut another parenthesis and make a leaf. And you can put as many leaves as you want to. So see, just like that. What is that? That's orange on there. Okay? And you can put two leaves. Sometimes I put two, sometimes I put one. And just, there's your leaf. Isn't it cute? But look how stinking cute this is, how easy it is. Look at how stinking adorable this is with the little, the pink and the red and the dots. I love it. Look how stinking and cute they are. And this little crate, I literally painted this crate right before I went live. <laughs> I was like, shh, trying to get it because it was, um, it was plain. But whoop, I'm losing berries. But look how cute. What if you put, okay, another idea is you could take a bamboo skewer and put up through the bottom and you could have them on picks or, and put them in something, whatever you want to do with them. But they, aren't they just adorable? That's so cute. I want a whole bowl full, like a whole bowl full and put them somewhere. I think it's adorable. Okay, so now let me show you what we're going to do now. I'm so excited. Um... Okay, um, okay, now you need to buy red and pink material. Do it any color you want to. They don't have to be, what's them berries called? I was trying to think of it today. What are the berries called? They're not strawberries, but they're white, but they look like strawberries, and they have like pink dots on them, like where the seeds are. What are they? They're called something, and somebody needs to tell me because I can't remember what they're called. Where'd I get the material? I think I got this at Joann's. I've had this forever. But see, I made this circle seven inches, 
in radius. And so now I can make a whole nother strawberry with that one circle. I have fabric from everywhere. Um, <laughs> your puppy's distracting you. Hey, Lori, thank you. Okay, here, you all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? This is what we're gonna make next. Is this not the cutest thing <laughs> ever? And y'all can do it. It's very simple. It's kind of like what we just did. Very, very simple. And I'm gonna show you how to make this ladybug. But I'm not going with the traditional red ladybug. I didn't have red and black, so I had to use the red and white. So, um, hold on to your seats. This next craft will blow you away. That's right, Nancy. Um, you can ask Nancy. I was talking to her today when I was squealing because this is so cute. Pine berries. That's it, Joanna. Thank you. Pine berries. White Carolina pine berry. I could not think of the name of that to save my life. But how pretty would it be if you did some different colors berries? I mean, not do the traditional red or not even, you know, the red and white polka dot. Do red gingham. Do black and white gingham. It doesn't matter. It's yours. You make it yours. Pine berry. See, y'all knew y'all would know. Okay, so we're going to make this ladybug. Um, but I'm not doing traditional red and white because we already did that. Okay, I'm going to go... We're gonna have a funky ladybug. This is um, one of my flowers I made this uh, out of, you know, made the flowers out of this um, pattern, this print. And I, I wanna make me a ladybug out of this. This came from Joanne's like a, a years ago, but it's the turquoise, but uh, this is so cute. Okay, so I know y'all are gonna be crafting up some, some strawberries tonight with all your fabric. Um, so this is, my circle, I did the same exact thing. I used the plate and I already cut it out just so it wouldn't be sitting here cutting it out. Some turquoise strawberries, yes. I wish I had turquoise fabric with red polka dots or vice versa. Wouldn't that be pretty? Okay, ladybug cutouts. Yes, okay, Sherry, this is for you, ladybugs. Ladybugs, ladybugs, cute, cute, cute. And see, he's all squishy. Okay, so here's our circle. I gotta get some more thread. Where's my needle? Y'all, where's my needle? Oh, here it is. Like, oh, I lost the needle. Do y'all do that too when you like misplace the needle and you're like, oh, where's my needle? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna step on it. Okay, so I'm gonna get out a good bit of thread and I'm gonna double it up again, um, just like we did before. Cause it makes it stronger and you don't wanna get all the way through and it break. So we've got our little loop at the end, just like before. Oh, she made you a bunch of strawberries years ago. Thank you for the source, Kathy. All right. Somebody told me you're supposed to lick the needle and then do the thread. I just thought about that. But I don't remember who told me that. Somebody told me that. I always sometimes have to cut the end of the, of the thread to get it even. Next time we do this, I'm bringing my needle threader. Okay. Got my needle threaded. My thread's doubled just so it's stronger. I've got my little loopy loop at the end because that helps you out. Okay, so what we're gonna do with the circle is we're just gonna do a run-in stitch the same way, real loose, about this far from the top, not far, you know, just whatever. It's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. So we're gonna run it all the way around, big loose. So see how loose I'm doing it? I don't know if y'all can see my needle, but I'm going, you know, big spaces between your between your stitches. Just run it around. Not have to be perfect. Just go all the way around. I like to do a whole bunch and then pull my needle out. Like that. And then I'm just going to keep going. In my shirt, walking, waiting on me. <laughs> your needle's in your shirt. I'm always that way. Why is it wanting to flip this way? Your scissors, yes, I misplaced my scissors. I have about five pair over here. But I have a favorite pair too, and I always want the favorite pair. Sometimes I stick my tongue, yes. I'm always like, hold on, I dropped a needle. Don't nobody move. <laughs> Not that I use a lot of needles, but it's like, stop. So I'm just going around. Big spaces in between. You know, I'm just doing a real loose running stitch so we can gather it up. 
Hey, Colin, look at my son is on here. Okay. Pulling it through. I'm almost there. After you bend the thread. Oh, okay. Bend the thread. You love my background. Thank you. That number up there is my number if you want to join my texting service um, where I can text you when I restock the shop or I can text you before I go live and you won't miss anything. Okay. So now I've got it all the way around the top. Looks like a little shower cap or something. Um, let me find my end. I should have used like black fabric, so, black thread so y'all could see it like I did last time. Okay. So here's our end with our loop. And then there's my end like that. And I'm going to go ahead and put my needle through the loop just so my thread doesn't pull out the other side. Now we got to stuff it. <laughs> you definitely needed the lean night. Thank you, Sharice. You're so sweet. I know I missed all of y'all. Yes, Debbie, I'll be restocking hopefully next week. Um, I've been cutting. I've been doing lots of stuff behind the scenes. So I've gotten a lot of stuff here done. All my lasers are out here now in this room. Thank the Lord. Um, and my husband has been helping and all that good stuff. Um... Oh, he wants to know. He was the one that brought me the strawberries. Colin brought me the strawberries. I made that after he left. He dropped off strawberries and went home. Um, so anyway, so I'm putting my polyfill in here like this. Tomorrow, if Colin, if you don't remember, tomorrow is my youngest son's birthday. He'll be 15 tomorrow. The wedding is June 5th. It's coming, like, quickly. Okay, so I am... Putting all my stuffing in my shower. It looks like a shower cap. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna do scissors too. I got that in the works. I got some cute stuff in the works too coming. Oh, thank you, Darlene. Okay, y'all have all just been so kind and gracious. Oh, thank you, Delina. Oh, prayers needed for your husband. Okay, well we'll be sure and pray for him. It does look like a shower cap, doesn't it, Kaylee? <laughs> Looks like a little shower cap. Looks like a mushroom top. We can make mushrooms like that. Okay. So now I'm just pulling it tight. Okay. Pulling it all into the center like that. And just do a little at a time. Just so you don't tear, break your thread. Okay. We're going to do the same thing we did. We're going to take the needle. And we are going to, while I hold that tight... I'm just going to go from the front side over across the other side just to hold it together. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Like that. Ow. I stuck myself. Okay. And then I'm just going to go to the other side just so it'll hold it all together gathered. You have a wedding to go to on June 5th? Well, my son's getting married on June 5th. I'm excited for them. They got it all planned. It's done. Looks like a pin cushion. It does, doesn't it? Okay. So I just went back and forth a few times and I'm just kind of pulling it tight. And then I'm just gonna, I like to stick my thread, my needle in my thread, <laughs> needle in my fabric, and then I'll loop around and then I'll loop it back through that fabric and catch it and kind of make a little slip knot. All right. So this is our ladybug. In essence, this is our ladybug body. Okay. Um, so there we go. So yeah, Chase's birthday is tomorrow. A gnome with that shower, shower cap. Yes. Okay. Where is my black? Okay. Now, this is where the fun part comes in. So we're going to get black fabric, fabric, thread. <laughs> Y'all, I can't talk. Black thread this time. And I'm going to get a good bit. I always get off more than I need just because you can always cut it off. And you don't want to get in the middle of something and go, oh no, I didn't have enough thread. Makes you madder in a wet hand, doesn't it? <laughs> You're like, dang it, I gotta start over. Okay, so here's my, I'm gonna try to attempt to thread this one more time. See, it went perfect that time. Okay, I doubled it up. And if you wanna use um, uh, the cross stitch thread, the um, DMC thread, if you wanna use that for this, you can. I'm so thirsty talking. Um, 
So anyway, if you want to use embroidery thread, you can. But I just want to show you how you do it with just regular thread. You don't have to have anything special. You just regular thread. Okay. So I'm going to stick my needle in the bottom of my ladybug. And we're going to come straight up to where approximately the, you think the middle is, okay? Coming straight up the middle. All right, and I'm leaving that little tail down there. It's got the loop in it. All right, so then we're going to go, I'm going to pull it. See, there's the middle. I'm just going to pull it to one side like this, and then I'm going to stick my needle back up here and attempt to come back up right where that thread right in the middle again. So I'm coming straight back up where that thread, I came up a minute ago, approximately. Okay, so just like that. And I'm gonna kind of pull it a little bit. So then I'm gonna go do the same thing. I'm gonna go from the top, I'm going to the bottom. I'm gonna grab that little loop right there while I'm here, just because I don't wanna pull it out, okay go through the loop and then I'm gonna go back up to the same point okay what did I just do hold on hold on hold on hold on I did something wrong wait a minute I don't think what I wanted to do yet okay so here we go got that so I'm gonna go down the over the same thread I just pulled through and I'm gonna go through that loop so I won't pull the whole thing out and then I'm gonna come back up to the center again. All right, so I'm coming back up again. And I'm just gonna kinda give it a little tug. And that's gonna make, make it kinda dimpled right there. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's gonna make it kinda indent into the fabric. Then you're gonna go from here, we're gonna go this way into the shape of a Y like this. So we're going to go around this way, up through the bottom again, and come back up to that center point like that. And you're going to kind of pull it. And I'm going to do this, go right back over it again, and go through the back again. Okay, so it makes that line a little darker. So now we're going to go to this side. Okay, and go down and through the bottom and come back up to the center again. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna go down one more time and I don't think I'm gonna have enough thread. Like I said, make sure you have enough thread. So I don't have enough thread to go through it again, but y'all see, see the little two points I did and then the one down at the bottom. So now I'm just gonna kind of go through some of those little ruffles at the bottom with my needle and tie me a couple of little knots with it, which we're gonna hot glue over it so it's not gonna come out. But just for now, I'm just gonna kind of sew it into the fabric a few times and that's my thread. <laughs> so y'all be sure to have enough thread. I make it look so easy, it really is. It's not hard, I promise. So we have this, okay? So see how it makes it indented when you pull it tight, kind of like a pumpkin. I know I love the ladybugs too. So if you're just hopping on, this is what I'm making. Thank you. Okay. So now we're gonna get to paint too. So black paint, any kind of craft paint. All right, just a little bitty paintbrush. And now I'm gonna paint where his head is gonna be. I know y'all are freaking out going, oh my gosh, she's about to paint that fabric. I sure am. So I'm just going inside that thread and I'm painting that, painting this black. Cause that's where his little head will be and his eyeballs and all that good stuff. And you just kind of go along that line really carefully and paint this just like that. So here's his little head. See, it's coming along. Just like that. And it's not its not fabric paint, it's just regular craft paint. We're not gonna be washing it in the dryer or anything like that. So I really don't think it would come out then because I've gotten it on my clothes and it doesn't come out in the wash. 
but alcohol will get it out of your clothes. Ladybug with a dress on. That's right. But I want to make some of these in a bunch of different fabrics too because too stinking cute. Okay. All right, so there's our ladybug. Part of the ladybug. So, nothing wrong with painting fabric. That's right, Lindy. Lindy was painting on some jeans the other day. If you don't follow her, her page is Taterbuggin'. And she paints fantastically, like, portraits and stuff. And cute stuff. And she was painting on some blue jeans. No, Janet, it's regular apple barrel craft paint. Jet black. So I'm just gonna dry this really fast. Ooh, that one little glob won't dry, and that's hot. Just regular acrylic paint, just craft paint. 50 cents at Walmart. Dry, 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 dry. Okay, so there's my ladybug. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the antennas next because um, we gotta paint some eyes and stuff on. So let's see. So I'm gonna cut, doesn't really matter how long. This is yarn. This is his Dollar Tree yarn. It's black. You don't have to do antennas, but when I did mine, it kinda looked like it needed antennas. <laughs> you got your mom hooked on Anita's paint? I love Anita's paint. But their white does not impress me. Okay, big needle again. I just, it's got a big eye on it. This one has a big eye. And so I threaded my yarn on it. So I got thread everywhere. Okay, so about where you think the antennas, like if we put our eyes here, then I wanna put my antennas up on top. So I'm gonna, let's see. I gotta, you gotta go down and then we're gonna come back up, okay? So I'm gonna, where I think that it should be. And the fabric kinda gets a little crisp crunchy with this paint so you kind of have to pierce it but I'm kind of going about right there down and I hope I have enough yarn and I'm gonna pull it all the way through this is a big fat needle but I needed a big eye for that yarn okay so I'm holding it on top because I don't want to pull it all the way through all right pull it to about there so there's one antenna see it okay so then I'm just gonna go back up underneath there, try to get them about even, you know, where I think the other one should be. Okay, so now, through with that. So see, it's just that little loop stitch under there. I just went down and then come back up, and that's it. And I'm gonna cut, give them a little haircut so our antennas will be the same, and if you wanna put a little dot of hot glue down here where our little loop won't move, that's okay too. Look, see, see the little antennas? I got glue strings, see it, isn't it cute? Okay, so we'll go ahead and do the legs since we're using the yarn. Now you don't have to do legs if you don't want to, you can just leave it like this. Um, I decided to be all extra after I got started, I got all excited and I wanted their strings all over the bottom. Um, I wanted to put legs on it. So that's easy too. So you turn it over where the ladybug's on its belly and you literally just lay your yarn. I put three, cause they have six legs. See what y'all are talking about. All right, so I'm gonna lay them right across there, just like this. I gotta get them fixed where his head is, and so it looks like he's walking straight, not sideways. Okay, just like that. All right, there we go. Okay, now all I'm gonna do is I'm going to just put a little a little trail of glue gun right across all three of those. And then I'm gonna let it sit there. While it's getting setting up, I'm gonna take my, so see I got my, like a dead ladybug on it. 
So I just ran some glue right across all three. So now, just gonna wing it and cut a round circle just to cover up the bottom if somebody was to see the bottom. So it's gonna look like this. Oh, there's thread everywhere. See, that's all I'm doing. Just kind of cover up our messiness on the bottom. So his little legs look like they're coming out. That's kind of big. I love felt, y'all. I like, I have a lot of felt and I love to work with felt because it's so, it's so forgiving and easy to cut and it's just easy to work with. Okay. Six legs. Okay, so spiders have eight, so I'm good. Okay, so now I'm just going to put a little hot glue around my circle and stick it to the back side or the underside of my ladybug. <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> Y'all are such rebels. You're going to go poke holes in the, all the polyfill bags so it'll be puff up. So if you missed it earlier, my polyfill bag was like all vacuum sealed down. It was really flat like this. And when I opened it, it turned into this. I've never seen them vacuum sealed like that ever. <laughs> so you're going to go to Walmart and poke holes in all of the polyfill bags. <laughs> cracking me up. I want to go. <laughs> okay. So there's the, his legs. So I'm going to just trim them off because I don't want him to look like spider legs. She can't have long legs. Okay. So that's all that is to that. Oh, I got yarn and thread sticking to me everywhere. So here's what the back looks like or the other side. See, there's this six, six legs and the antennas. Isn't that cute? Okay, so you don't even have to put eyeballs on it if you don't want to. But I wanted to put, I like to give them a little bit of, a little bit of character. So I'd put eyeballs on mine. Um, See, this is Mr. Ladybug, and I guess this is going to be Miss Ladybug. <laughs> that was too funny. Y'all are y'all are making a plan to go to Walmart and, um, hey, Diane from Reno, Nevada. Um, hey, Kat, hey, Kathy, how are you? Um, poke holes in all the polyfill things. So, yeah, if y'all didn't see the polyfill explosion, y'all need to go back and watch the replay and see the polyfill. Okay, so this is white, just regular white. That made my night, y'all, that bag blowing up. I couldn't wait to do it. <laughs> okay, so these are my crochet hooks that I use. I tell y'all for dotting, and I'm going to show y'all how to do dot art sometime. This is what I'm using. You can use the tip of an eraser on a pencil, um, the end of a marker or a Sharpie, whatever you have that's round and flat. And all I'm going to do is dip my crochet hook into my paint and just get paint on the end of it. And I'm gonna make some eyeballs. See, I just dot it down and there's my eye. Okay, and then I'm going to, and when you dot it, make sure you dot straight down. Like don't do it at an angle, but do it straight down to what you're doing. And then you'll have pretty little circles like that. And I've gotta have something to wipe off my end of my crochet hook with and just wipe it off. <laughs> Clean up in aisle four. <laughs> See on the front of the paper, big girls arrested for popping holes in polyfill bags at Walmart. <laughs> when are we leaving, Wendy? <laughs> That's so funny. I look happy sunset a bunch of ladybugs. All right, so I'm just kind of drying it real quick. His little antennas are like blowing back in the wind. <laughs> it doesn't take much to entertain me, I promise. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love ladybugs. Not those little Chinese beetles, but the lady, real ladybugs. I saw a guy on TikTok the other day, and he made a, a ladybug farm. And ordered all these ladybugs and they're all crawling around and made a little ladybug house for them. And I was like, oh, I want a ladybug farm. <laughs> but anyway. Um, okay, so this is another crochet hook. It's just a, a little bit smaller. So you could find like the end of a pen, the little clicky part of the pen or whatever that's a little smaller. And I'm just going to dip it in my black like that. 
And I'm going to go right in and make her some pupils in her eyeballs. And that's all it is, guys. It's so simple. Look! It just makes a big difference when you, like, light up their eyes. And they got little antennas. Look how stinking cute. And I'll probably come down and finish painting this black to where it meets my felt. But look how stinking cute these are. I'm telling y'all, I was squealing. Probably vacuumed because of COVID. Yeah, Ginger, because everything's because of COVID. They don't want people breathing on the polyfill. <laughs> well, mine was vacuum sealed tight. Y'all saw it. It looked like a brick. And then it just... Whoosh. Yes, that would make cute pin cushions. They would. But I just love them. I think they're cute. And if you're doing a ladybug theme or your dough bowls or whatever just for summer, they are adorable. Make some of these. And if your kids are like going to camp or somewhere like that, and slip them in their suitcase or just something funny. Just something cute for somebody. I think it's adorable. Um, but then, of course, y'all saw the strawberries. Do the strawberry. Betty, y'all are going to blame me. Don't go to the police station and go, it was that girl at that turquoise valentine. It was all her fault. <laughs> but if y'all do it, please video because I want to see y'all popping them. Is that like cutting the tags off the mattresses? You know, they'll take you to jail or whatever in California or something if, if you cut the tags off the mattress. But we made these. So if you missed it, you'll have to go watch it on the replay. These cute, adorable strawberries. And y'all, I know right now, are cutting circles out and whipping up some strawberries. I can just feel it. I know it's coming. Um, so y'all got to make some strawberries. Make, make your circle smaller and you'll get little ones. Or you make them, this one was a seven inch circle. So I just used a plate like I used for my paint. That's what I did to trace my circle because I wanted it big enough to where they would like be nice, juicy, plump strawberries. But look how stinking cute these are. Oh, you miss the strawberries? Yes, I love the strawberries. But so cute. And just think of all the different like patterns and colors of fabric you can all mix together to make them just stinking cute. And ladybugs. I couldn't I couldn't decide what to do tonight, so I had to do both because they don't take a long time. Um, thank you, Lou. You're so sweet. I know they don't go together, strawberries and ladybugs, but they scream summer. So here we are. <laughs> oh, Diane, you're so sweet. But yes, I want to make can't y'all see one with this fabric? And a ladybug? Yes. I wish it was red and red dots instead of white dots. Oh, thank you, Kathy, for the stars. The little bug-eyed ladybugs. See, I gotta finish painting her underside. I gotta finish painting this part down here because I keep seeing it in the camera and it looks weird. Oh, somebody's seen the gnome. Tammy has called. I've been waiting all evening for somebody to call out that gnome. Y'all want to see that gnome? <laughs> I made him the other day. What size are the strawberries? I saw something. This this big strawberry was made with a plate, and it was a seven is seven inches across, and like these little ones were made with like this size. I don't even know what that is, but it's smaller. Just get you some circles, you know, something that makes a circle, and just kind of experiment with the sizes and stuff, and you're going to get all different size strawberries. Um, so, hang on, and I'll show y'all what Tammy is talking about. Yellow fabrics with, oh, yes, I have some ladybug fabric somewhere. I think it's green, but, yeah, that would be cute if you had a fabric with ladybugs on it. I, I painted it so it looks better. I need to paint that one, Donna. Um, so, okay, so... This. Are y'all ready for the cuteness? Let me get up in my chair. Ah. <laughs> now y'all gonna be all about the bee gnome. Look. I had to make myself something happy the other day. So he is coming. He See his little antennas? But he is coming next. Paint the polka dots red on the turquoise fabric. Oh. I could do that. I could just do turquoise fabric and just put dots on it myself. I could do that. Look at y'all. Y'all are so smart. See, that's why we need each other is because y'all help me. I help y'all and stuff I hadn't even thought about. But 
Look how stinking adorable he is. See, he's got all these pieces. And his little, look at his daisy hat. Isn't he cute? Lemon's out of fabric now. Ooh, let's see. I had to think about that one. Peaches would be easy because all you have to do is run a stitch up through here like we did the ladybug and make it dimpled like a peach. That wouldn't be hard. Um, kind of like we did this, but a peach. You want to be gnome. I know. I'm gonna. These are going to be coming out soon. And I've got patriotic. See, I can't see his little feet because they're black. Okay. I got patriotic coming. Oop, and all kinds of cuties. But isn't he cute? <laughs> see, he's got all kinds of, he's back piece, hat piece, beard piece, and then the hive and his nose and his little belt up here. Yes, Gene, I'm gonna throw him out soon. Um, he was kind of an afterthought, but he's got antennas. <laughs> oh no, your third, Oh, your fur baby's been sick. I'm so sorry, bless your heart. That's so sad, they're like part of our family. I'm, ours are. <laughs> so um, Tammy's like, I gotta have it, I gotta have it. You need ladybug cutouts. Okay, Carrie, I can do that too. I can do a gnome ladybug just like this, but have uh, dots. You're my therapist, so thank you, Deb. Y'all are my therapist too, I'm telling y'all. I have read each and every comment that y'all have made in the past few weeks. I have read every single one of them, even though I can't like them all because Facebook will put me in jail or something. Um, I have read each and every one of them, I promise you I have, probably more than once. Um, and so if, if I have called out your name on a live in the last couple of weeks, well, before two weeks ago, and I haven't sent your happy mail to you, it's coming because I, uh, I have, um, been so behind on all that, obviously. And so I, um, what are your text number? Um, I've just been behind. So I've got my list of names and I promise you that I'm going to do it. Um, and yes, if you want to get on my texting thing, that's the number. Just text join to that and you'll get in my system and it'll be there so I can text you when stuff comes, uh, stuff restocks or either I go live or whatever. Um, and if you're, if you're not in my group, I have a group called, um, the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. There's like 11,000 people in there now and they're awesomely talented it's full of flowers right now, so it's wonderful. <laughs> You'll see all the flowers. It's always wonderful, but the flowers are just so pretty. And now it's going to be ladybugs and strawberries. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, and so, if you're not in the group, it's totally free, and you're welcome to join. But there's going to be questions. It's going to ask you, like, I think it's three questions. Three questions. And if you don't answer them, they won't let you in. So, answer the questions, and if you didn't get a response back, look in your messenger because they'll message you and tell you, okay, you got to answer the question or whatever. Um, oh, Carol, you're so sweet. Um, and so do that. And if you invite somebody to the group, just make sure they're following the page. And um, I will um, be restocking next week. I'll see what else I got to tell y'all. I'm going to be restocking the bees, peaches, popsicles. I'll have watermelons next week. Um, I've been cutting and stuff, so I haven't just been sitting around moping. I have been working and doing stuff behind the scenes that I needed to do, but making use of my time. Um, so just believe me when I say I've been working. It's just, I can't sit still, so I have to be doing something. Yes, I have a peach field or two side of me. Yes, peach trees are pretty when they bloom. Um, hope your baby gets okay. Oh. I know, somebody's fur baby died. Look <laughs> look at Donna with her strawberries and her um, strawberries and ladybugs. Oh, hey, Susan, must be new, Susan. Hey, I would love to have you on my page. Go join the group, do all the things, it's fun. The group is free, 11,000 talented, strange, just, it's just, strange that there's so many of that many people in one place that's that talented 
and it blows me away. Every day I'm like, oh gosh, did you see that? I'll tell Nancy, Nancy, did you see this? Or she'll say, oh, did you see so-and-so made this? Look at how cool that is. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So yes. Um, <laughs> look, Kimberly. Kimberly's going to be the first one in the group. Post her strawberries. Now the race is on. Make your strawberries. <laughs> Go to Walmart. Get you the, the, the suck down version of the polyfill. And open it and watch it pop up. If you missed that part of my video, you gotta go see it because it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Judy. Y'all are therapy to me too. Like I said, every comment, every message, everything y'all have sent me, I've read every bit of it. I promise. And it was by the thousands, and I've read them all probably more than once. So um, it does my heart good. But it's just crazy that that many people care about somebody they've never met and Deidre, who they had never met either. And it just blows me away. Um, so, but y'all are my therapy. This is my therapy. Um, crafting and just doing all this stuff and, and giving back to all of you and, you know, just sharing talent, sharing things. Y'all help me. Y'all tell me, oh, you could do this or you could do that. And it's like, oh, I didn't realize that. So, um, so yes, I'm gonna be looking for strawberries. I know there's gonna be some tonight because Kimberly said she was making hers. Um, <laughs> Carrie, even this and Nancy. Oh, thank you, Chris. Just be sure and post them in the group because y'all want to see all the funky ladybugs that y'all make. With some peace symbol ones, and <laughs> I want to see some funky ladybugs. Cute, cute. Aren't they cute? And stra funky strawberries, too. Funky strawberries. Make some wild color, pink, polka dot, orange. I don't know. <laughs> Corn. Somebody said something about their legs. Shrunk down a bag of poly. And they popped open. <laughs> yeah, why can't the bag shrink back down? And then every time we open it, it pops back out. That would be so much fun. I swear I had never seen polyfill come shrunk down. It always is in this big puffy bag, like a pillow. I'm so glad I didn't buy a pillow this time because I got to watch the bag. <sighs> yes, Loretta, strawberries. I'll be cutting more strawberries, peaches, watermelons, lemons, popsicles, flowers, bee sets. Um, these guys, other, I got lots of stuff coming. Yes, Nancy said, answer three questions to get in the group. And, um, you got to follow the page, that kind of thing, um, to, to be in the group just cause it's for my page. Flower, ladybug, strawberry Re revolution. Yes. We're starting a, a, a happiness revolution with our flowers and our ladybugs and our strawberries. Cause who can't look at that and think that's the cutest thing ever. Yeah. It'd be so much easier in the store, but then Kaylee, we can't. We can't go back and we can't go to Walmart and pop all the bags. If I tell my, my sons that, they will want to go to Walmart to pop the bags. And I'll be like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wendy, you are like, you're like living on the edge. <laughs> Wendy's going to be on uh, America's Most Wanted. <laughs> She's the polyfill bag popper lady. <laughs> Are you the same person that goes to Dollar Tree and pokes your fingers in the styrofoam? You know, the floral foam that you can push with your finger, that soft stuff? Because my store has a sign, and I'm going to take a picture of it when next time I go, that says, please do not push holes or punch holes in, this, in the foam or in the styrofoam or something like that. So, um, I promise, I promise. Um... Sharon, the group is called the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. And this is my cup. Miss Dana Merritt makes these. And you can message her if you want one of these. He's my little sidekick. Yes. So, yeah, Donna, go join. It's, it's totally free, like I said. And there's so many great people in there. Kaylee, she's the reason they have the sign. <laughs> now they're going to have a sign made of the polyfill. Please do not pop the bags. 
<laughs> oh, good Lord. I won't have to go watch the video again to see it pop up again. I'm just going to have to watch it a couple of times to see it pop up. Yeah, they're going to have a sign next time I go. I have a Walmart so I can get a bag just so I can buy it. But you know those mattresses, you can get a mattress like that. It's like squished down into a square at Sam's, those memory foam ones. And you literally can you cut it open and it does it just like... It slowly does it, but I'd be like, get back. You got to get back and cut it. <laughs> Darlene. Now Darlene's in on it. Please don't squeeze the Charmin. Please don't pop the polyfill. <laughs> oh, you have a purple one coming? Oh, I can't wait to see that. I want to see pictures of all of them. I'm going to tell Dana. I got to see pictures of all these cups because I want to see... Oh, you love your gnome cup crystal? Do you guard it with your life like I do? I'm like, don't, my family, I'm like, do not touch this cup. It usually stays out here. And then I'll wash it before I go live and drink out of it. Um, hey, whoever just said hey. Elisa? Eli, Eli, Elisa? Yeah, if you can see everything, Elaine, then you're probably already in the group. So, yeah, and if you've already tried to join and you didn't get in... Just go back and try again and answer the questions. Polyfill phone and pimple popper. <laughs> We're going to start a new TV series where we just go to random Walmarts and pop the polyfill bags and punch all the foam. We're living on the edge, guys. Living on the edge. I'm telling you, that's like living on the edge. <laughs> oh, Dana's working on cups right now. So there's Dana right there in the message in the comments you can message her if you need a gnome cup if you feel you need one of these little cute guys in your life i guard him i guard him really safe <laughs> darling you have a mask on and they won't recognize you in walmart they're gonna have you on camera and be like there's that lady she popped all the bags and it all poofed up and they made the made it bigger I see a t-shirt with a polyfill popper. <laughs> oh. Oh, thank you, Amanda. You're so sweet. I miss all of you, too. Look, Joanna's like, let's go. It's so funny. We're just living on the edge, man. Rebels, pop the polyfill bags. People watching the replay are probably like, oh, my God, she is crazy. You just did the little wheelbarrow, the little, it's over here. Welcome to whoever is new. I'm just chatting because I hadn't chatted with my friends in a while. So if you're not into chatting, I like to chat. And now we're talking about the polyfill bags. Want to be women popping polyfill bags who can't stop. <laughs> oh, my secret, my strange addiction, that show. Yeah. Wendy's going to be the president of the club because she's already like, okay, we're, what time we leave it? <laughs> Where are we going? The new, yes, Lori, it'll be the new TikTok viral sensation. Going to Walmart and popping the poly, polyfill bags. And then they're all going to come after me and be like, she started it. <laughs> oh, Dana, Mary. Yes, you just message Dana on her page. Just message her private page and she will, um, she'll get with you and tell you. Because it is a process when she makes some. It takes a while to, for it to cure because it's several layers of stuff. I don't know the exact process, but I know it takes a little while. Um, I had to jump backwards. <laughs> Wendy, I mean, dreaming of Polly popping tonight. Oh, thank you, Denise. We made ladybugs. You got to watch, go watch back. And strawberries out of fabric because everybody's already in the fabric biz with all the flowers. So I'm kind of trying to go on that same route and like use what we have. <laughs> yeah, just send her a PM and she'll get the thing about the cups. Yeah, there's her name right there. Yay! They're so stinking cute. Look. <laughs> Isn't it cute? I'm the ringleader? Okay. 
We, it was Wendy's idea to get up like a gangster style and go to Walmart and pop the bag. I just popped my own in a ball. <laughs> I just turned y'all on to it. And then Wendy just like, she's ready to get in the car. We're going. <laughs> Carla, your, your husband probably thinks I am crazy. I know, Judy, it's funny, isn't it? Lee's Polly Poppers. <laughs> Oh, Darlene's got two cups. Well, Darlene has got two cups, and Darlene's going to be in the newspaper because she's went to Walmart with her fingernail clippers and popped the bag. And I can just have your two cups. <laughs> oh, y'all, I'm getting carried away. Can y'all tell? Oh, my goodness. Polly Popper therapy. <laughs> Can't you just see, like, popping a whole bunch of them at one time and then more, whoosh, the whole rack is just blowing up at once? Yes, video it if y'all... I know y'all aren't going to do it. Mm. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to take my tickled self and my my polyfill bag. And I'm going to get it all... It, y'all saw it. It was really small. And it went... Whoosh. Um. So, what time are we going? <laughs> Kathy's like, I'm in. I'm in. Who's driving the car? No, I haven't seen the dice made into watermelons and strawberries. Oh, my. Yay, Sue, you get them up. You're laughing so hard, you're crying. <laughs> okay, who, who's driving the getaway car? <laughs> Y'all just park right outside. We'll be out in just a minute, but you, we'll have to video it for you because you're going to be driving the car. <laughs> Squeeze the Charmin. Mr. Whipple. <laughs> Yeah, Maureen, watch the replay. We made ladybugs and strawberries. And you get to see the polyfill bag that was this big. And when I opened it up, it was vacuum sealed. And it, it just, like, went this big. So, um, oh, Lord, Wendy. <laughs> Wendy's going to be like, call that girl when she's in jail. Call her. Tell her to come get me out of jail. <laughs> I'm a bad influence. Y'all just know it's funny. Because they had a bag that was full, that was fully fluffed, and they had a flat they had flat bags, so I had to get the flat bag because I knew that when I cut it, it was gonna go, you know, it was gonna grow, and I was like, I cannot wait to get on live to show them how thin this package is and how, what it's gonna do when I cut it. I could not wait. I was like, oh, I'm getting the flat one, because I gotta do it. Oh, storms with hail. Oh, Cindy, y'all watch the weather. Fabric bees. I know. I gotta figure that out. Polly Popper Anonymous. <laughs> I'll wear t-shirts. Oh, thank you, Lori, for watching. Have a good evening to you, too. You'll bring the school. Wendy's like, I'm bringing the school bus. <laughs> the party bus. We're going to need a bus. <laughs> hmm. Why don't we just all meet up in our, in our own Walmart and, like, simultaneously like pop the bags in all the Walmarts. <laughs> oh gosh. Thank you, Heather. All right, guys, I am going to get off this time. I got to go see what my, um, driving a school bus 20 more years getaway vehicle. <laughs> You're killing me. Okay. I'm going to hop off. Y'all have a good night. Thank y'all for being gracious and good to me. And, watching and being here if you're watching the replay sorry for the craziness but you just had to get on the bus and be crazy with us so good to see y'all thank y'all for being patient see y'all later i love y'all guys bye